These are Google's new augmented reality glasses that display translations of conversations in real time using artificial intelligence. You should be seeing what I'm saying just transcribed for you in real time, kind of like subtitles for the world. A decade after the debut of Google Glass, Google has unveiled a new pair of glasses with a built-in computer. At its annual Google Developer Conference, the company showed a video of its glasses prototype, displaying captions in English, Mandarin, Spanish and American Sign Language. The unnamed pair of specs were teased alongside other new AI-enabled products. As part of Google's plans to bridge the real world and its digital universe of search, maps and other devices using artificial intelligence. It's the first watch built inside and out by Google. The company demonstrated a feature that lets users take video of store shelves with various products and ask the search app to perform functions, such as identify options from black-owned businesses. Google also says Maps will soon launch an immersive view for some big cities that fuses street view and aerial images. Immersive view. It allows you to explore a place like never before. Let's go to London and take a look. What a beautiful city. Say you're planning to visit Westminster with your family, you can get into this immersive view straight from Maps on your phone, and you can pan around the sides. To build more inclusive products across Google, the tech giant also unveiled a palette of 10 skin tones that it describes as a step forward in making gadgets and apps that better serve people of color. The company partnered with Harvard University sociologist Ellis Monk, who studies colorism. Monk says he had felt dehumanized by cameras that failed to detect his face and reflect his skin tone. And I developed a 10-point skin tone scale with the goal of making sure that everyone across the skin tone continuum feels represented. Google also teased a tablet to be launched in 2023 and a smartwatch that will go on sale in late 2022. The new hardware is part of a strategy to offer products comparable to rival Apple that could provide rich rewards from Google's ad sales. The company still derives most of its revenue from ads, but devices could matter more for Google over the long run.